Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my favorite bright lip products. So I'm going to be going through all of my favorite bright lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip liners, and lip glosses. There's also going to be drugstore as well as high-end options. I'm also going to be swatching all the products on my arm as well as on my lips. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. That's basically it. I've got uh, lots of products to talk about, so no more wasting time and let's get right into it. So let's first start off with what I think is probably the largest category that I have over here, and that is liquid lipsticks. I personally like to wear bright lip colors in a liquid lipstick formula just because they really do last a really long time on the lips, and because they are sort of brighter colors, really gonna be sure that that bright lip color is not gonna end up like over here by the end of the day, because that's honestly happened to me before. I'm not even kidding. So let's first start off with the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is Kat Von D Bachelorette. Now, firstly, the Kat Von D liquid lipstick formula is fabulous. They are so long wearing, probably one of the most long wearing liquid lipsticks formulas that I've tried thus far. So this color in particular is a stunning raspberry shade. I personally love raspberry shades because it's not quite pink, but not quite red. And I find that these types of shades are very flattering on a wide variety of skin tones. So if you just wanna sort of like dip your feet into the bright lipstick water, then this is definitely a great one to try because it's bright, but it's not too bright that you're like self-conscious that people are looking at your lips. Because if you're not used to wearing bright lipsticks, I totally get that feeling, but this one is a really great one to start off with. Moving onto a bright fuchsia shade. This is the Tarte Tartus Lip Paint in the shade Adorb. So this is basically your typical bright fuchsia shade. Now, if you like liquid lipsticks, but you don't really like the feeling of a very, very dry liquid lipstick, then you definitely need to try the Tarte Tartus Lip Paints. They are very comfortable to wear. I would say they're definitely more on the hydrating side. This is definitely a color that's going to make a statement. It's very bright. It's almost neon. It's a beautiful, beautiful, cool toned fuchsia shade. Now, oranges are definitely something that I'm really getting into for the spring and summertime, I've been wearing them nonstop. And one of my all-time favorite orangey red lipsticks is definitely Anna Nicole from Jeffree Star. Sometimes orange can be a little bit difficult to wear. If it's not the right shade, it could sometimes make your teeth look a little bit yellow. But there's something about this particular shade that really is just very, very flattering because it's not like a bright in-your-face orange shade. There is a little bit of like a terracotta red in there as well, which just really makes it very, very wearable. And of course, the Jeffree Star formula is fantastic. Probably, again, one of the best liquid lipstick formulas out there. I love it. So this is definitely another one that I would highly recommend. Next, we have the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquify Matte Lipstick in Mrs. Roper. Now, this is definitely a lot brighter than Jeffree Star Anna Nicole. This is way more of like a true mandarin orange shade. And I find that this type of shade just really livens up the complexion. So if you're looking for an orange that's a little bit brighter, but still very wearable, then this one is definitely your guy. I think probably my all-time favorite coral lipstick is definitely some Sunset Beach from Ofra. This is a stunning shade. Sometimes coral could be difficult to wear if it's a little bit too pastel and there's too much white in it, but this particular shade still looks bright on the lips, but it's not too pastel. And it's just amazing, amazing for the spring and summertime. Speaking of pastel corals, this one from Too Faced called Feeling Myself is definitely one of my favorites because it is a, an extremely flattering pastel coral shade. This is a great shade to wear if you don't want to go too bright or too neon, but you still want to have a little bit of like a fun color on your lips. It almost leans a little bit more on the neutral side because it is more of a dusty shade. But like I said, it's still like a brightish lip color that's really gonna liven up the face and just add a little bit of a pop to your makeup look. So next, let's talk about some purple liquid lipsticks. Now purple is definitely probably one of my favorite brighter shades to wear just because it adds like a little bit of like an unexpected twist to your look, but there's something about purple that is still very wearable since it is sort of in like the pink family. So it's not too out of your box, but it's a little bit more different than your typical red or your typical bright pink. One of my favorites is definitely this Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade number 12. The shade is a stunning, stunning like medium lilac shade and this is a great shade to try out if you sort of want to dabble into the purple lipsticks but you don't want to go bright bright purple because it still has quite a fair amount of pink in it now whereas the sephora lipstick that i just showed you was a little bit more tame and a little bit more subdued this one from stila called como is definitely more on the brighter side and more for those of you who want something a little bit more bright a little bit more in your face this is a stunning almost neon bright purple shade this is definitely a color that's going to catch people's attention. All right, so now I have two brighter pink colors. This color from ColourPop is called First Base. This is a beautiful, like, 
medium warm pink that leans a little bit on like the pastel side and it's a really really great shade then we have Anastasia Carina there's something about this color that just reminds me of watermelon and strawberries even though it's definitely not like a watermelon or a strawberry pink it still has a very like juicy quality to it that sounds so weird but i feel like you're probably going to understand what i mean karina is almost like a mix between to me like a coral and a pink another very wearable color as well now the last color that i wanted to mention is definitely more of a different color this is not everybody's cup of tea but i still want to mention it because i still think it's really really cool this is ofra maui and this is a bright blue teal shade wearing this with like just mascara it's amazing. So that is it for the liquid lipsticks. So now let's move on to the lipsticks. So the first shade that I have over here is called Trust Me, and this is the ColourPop Matte X Formula. This is a true red shade, but I find that it's a true red that's a little bit on the brighter side. And the formula of these are incredible. It is a very, very, very matte formula that does not feel drying whatsoever and lasts an amazing amount of time on the lips. These are also so affordable, they're $5, so that's another reason why I wanted to mention it. Another really beautiful red shade is Charlotte Tilbury Love Bite. This is a red that has a touch of orange to it. If you're really into wearing red lips and you wanna sort of switch it up for the spring and summertime, using a red that has a little bit of like an orange hue to it really, really will almost like update your look a little bit and will just add that little bit of like a summery spring touch. I have another dusty lilac shade this is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Sylvia. This is very, very similar to that Sephora cream lip stain once again, but I think this is just a little bit darker. Next, I have a matte color over here. This is called Impassion. This color just has the right amount of brightness to it that it doesn't lean too neon. And this type of color just honestly screams summer to me. So I had to include it. So now we have a drugstore option. This is Pink Pop from Maybelline. This is an amazing, cool toned pink shade. It's definitely a very like Barbie shade. Like you feel very Barbie when you wear it. But if you're into these types of colors, then you would really, really like this one. And of course it's from the drugstore, so it's affordable. And I love the Maybelline Vivids. They are very, very good lipsticks. They're probably some of my favorite from the drugstore. So next we have a deeper purple lipstick. This is called Matte Glam from Milani. So I definitely wanted to include a color that was a little bit on the deeper side because you could still wear a color that's deep that's still considered bright. This is a really, really, really pretty just matte violet shade. There's really nothing else to say about it. Next I have Double Bubble from Too Faced. This is a bubblegum pink. It's as simple as that. This is the creme formula from Too Faced. So they're a very, very creamy texture. They're not really overly opaque. They're quite sheer. They're really, really good for every day. So if you want something that's a little bit on the brighter side, but say more appropriate for like work or for school, then this is a really good option because it is a brighter color, but because it is more sheer it makes it very wearable and very appropriate for a more like professional setting now here's another more like out there lipstick shade this is called unicorn tears from Too Faced this is a, basically like a teal shimmery lipstick that has a little bit of like a purple reflex to it this is a really cool shade to sort of pair on top of another lipstick like let's say you wear a purple lipstick you could put this on top and it will just add like such a cool shift to the lipstick so I think something like this especially for the festival season is awesome again if you're into like these more unique brighter shades then unicorn tears from Too Faced is definitely one that you should check out so that's it for the lipstick so now let's talk about some glosses so the first lip gloss that I want to talk about is Anastasia Lip Gloss in Sunset Strip. This is like a really, really soft orange shade that has some pink, gold, and orange shimmer in it. It is more on the sheer side, so it's not like a completely opaque lip gloss, but this is just such a beautiful lip gloss to just pop over like a nude lipstick or even to wear by itself. That like gold and pink glitter to it just adds like the most amazing dimension to your lips. Another Anastasia lip gloss is this one over here, which I actually don't have the name, but I it will be in the description box and I will put it right over here the name just sort of peeled off this is a another beautiful like soft dusty lilac shade I want to include this because I included so many lilac like liquid lipsticks and lipsticks I want to show you the gloss version in case you wanted to like layer it and make it a glossy lilac lip or even wearing this by itself is beautiful because it's not quite as intense as say a liquid lipstick or a lipstick another really really beautiful coral gloss is this NYX intense butter gloss in the shade sorbet 
The NYX Intense Butter Glosses are intense. They are very, very, very opaque glosses. It's a really, really bright pastel coral shade, and this formula is very, very glossy, so it just creates like the most amazing look. Next, I have a Marc Jacobs gloss, because of course, how can I not mention a Marc Jacobs gloss? You guys know these are one of my favorites. This is in the shade Some Girls, and I would say that this is almost the exact same color as that NYX Intense Butter Gloss, but it's more on the sheer side. It has a little bit of like a very, very fine gold shimmer to it as well, which looks amazing on the lips. Next, I have a bright fuchsia lip gloss from Urban Decay. This is called Savage. It is more on like the sheer side. So again, this just gives you like a wash of like a fuchsia color to your lips, but it's not too sheer that you won't see it if you apply it by itself. So you could definitely apply this by itself just to get like a sheer wash of fuchsia on your lips or like I said with the other ones, apply it on top of a fuchsia lipstick. The next gloss that I have to talk about is this Makeup Forever Artist Plexi Gloss in the shade 206. This is a very, very, very pretty, um, like brighter, pinky coral shade. These glosses give the most amazing shine to your lips. If you want your lips to almost look like glass, like have that really amazing like re reflection to them, then you would love these glosses. They are definitely more on the stickier side, so keep that in mind if you don't like a sticky gloss. All right, so now we're done with the lip glosses. So the last category that I have to talk about are lip liners. Now wearing a lip liner with a bright lip color is definitely very important because it is a brighter color. You're really gonna see if like your lip line is not even or if it's a little bit shaky. So by using a lip liner, you're really going to really clean up the line of your lips. So I would say that my favorite fuchsia lip liner is definitely the Makeup Forever lip liner in 16C. This is like such a perfect, just bright fuchsia shade. This goes with all of my fuchsia lipsticks. And like I mentioned before, the Makeup Forever waterproof lip liners are amazing. They're so waterproof so long wearing, very creamy, easy to apply. They're just some of my favorite overall lip liners. Another lip liner that I have here, this is called Cherish. This is not quite as bright as the Makeup Forever lip liner. This is a little bit more of a subdued fuchsia shade. The Ofra liners are really nice. They remind me a lot of the MAC liners. They're very opaque, they glide on really, really nicely, and they come in really great colors. Now I have a ColourPop lip liner. Now I know I mentioned previously that I'm not the biggest fan of the ColourPop lip liners, but I've started to really like them a little bit more than than I used to. I used to think that they sort of moved around on my lips a lot, but for some reason, I started to use them again and they seem to be working a lot better than they used to. So this is in the shade Clique. This is such a perfect shade for all of my orangey red shades because it's an orangey red lip liner. And these lip liners are very, very creamy. They glide on super easily and they're very affordable. Next, I have a lip liner that's perfect for the purples. So this is the NYX lip liner in the shade Bloom. And this is the lip liner that I would wear with all of the purple shades that I mentioned today. Again, this is affordable. I love the NYX lip liners. They remind me a lot of the MAC ones as well. They're very similar to the Ofra ones. Another Ofra lip liner that I have here is called Delicious Red, and this is the lip liner that I like to wear for my brighter red lipsticks. It's a perfect red lip liner because it's not too much of a darker red that it's going to like end up darkening up my brighter reds, but it's that same like brighter red tone that it's just going to complement it and really work well with those colored lipsticks. So guys, that concludes all of my favorite bright lip products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And let me know in the comments, of course, what your favorite bright lip product is because I would love to know. And that's basically it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Today, as you guys may be able to tell, I have somebody else here with me. This is my beautiful friend, Taylor. She 